Halia Ibrahimi, CNBC. Thank you, Governor. You touched on it briefly, but can I just ask you how you view the Eurozone risk? In the report, you said domestic recovery continues to emanate from abroad, and you refer to the Eurozone. Has that gotten better? Has it subsided? Um, there has been over the course of the last um, uh, over the course of the last year, um, there has been um, important progress, and there remains important work in progress in the eurozone to um, uh, to construct a sustainable monetary union uh, and to enhance uh, the potential of the European economy. Um, there has been progress on banking union. Um, the recovery resolution directive, which also applies here, is uh, is something we very much uh, welcome and support. Um, uh, the uh, the upcoming asset quality review uh, by the ECB uh, will be important uh, in further uh, enhancing and, and uh, reinforcing the resilience of uh, the European banking system. It's absolutely essential. A variety of structural reforms on, on the national level have, uh, to varying degrees, uh, have been put in place. Uh, so, uh, and the monetary measures of the ECB have, uh, have very much helped to contain both tail risks and, and to the extent possible, in a banking system that's a financial system that is still quite fragmented, to the extent possible, have done much to, uh, to support uh, output in the context of uh, their price stability mandate. Uh, but we should not get ahead of ourselves in terms of expectations from the Eurozone. Uh, there remain risks. Uh, senior European authorities and uh, political uh, figures are well aware of these risks. They're working hard to, uh, to try to minimize them, but uh, there remain risks. And in fact, in our forecast, we don't fully include the most extreme uh, risks uh, that could emanate from the Eurozone. Uh, in, 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 uh, in constructing our forecast. So, um, uh, and then the last point I'll make is that uh, it, it, well, the market, uh, well, the Euro, Euro uh, zone economy has uh, stabilized and is beginning to pick up slightly. Uh, this is um, in order to gain significant um, exports into Europe, um, British firms will need to continue. Uh, will we'll really need to build uh, their competitiveness uh, by investing uh, and improving productivity uh, because it's not going to be driven by a very strong demand pull in our, in our best judgment.